Um, so I've been waiting a little while to do this video. Um, you know, I had to wait because this is two boxes actually. Um, to do a comparison, I had to wait for both of them to ship because they shipped at different times, even though they're from the same company. Um, so yeah, both of these are actually from March. Um, I'm trying to be good on boxes right now and not order anything new or not do anything this month really that I hadn't previously already committed to or something. Like if I could skip it this month, I am. So we're talking about April because of the COVID-19 situation, we don't know what's going on. But if something had happened and I already like the payment had went through before I could cancel it, and then I guess you'll be seeing that on my channel, <laughs> if that makes sense. But that said, I do have stuff from March that I haven't opened still. Um, but yeah, this is one of my March boxes. Um, and this is from a company that I do absolutely love. Um, so what I have here is my Ipsy from March and Ipsy um, Plus. I Ipsy Glam Bag Plus is what they call it. Uh, for March also and I just wanted to do these both together so you can kind of get a bit of a comparison as far as what they are and the first one we have is the regular Ipsy and like don't mind the fact I'm not wearing makeup right now like usually for the makeup things I feel it's better because you can kind of if there's anything I need to test on my face I don't have to wipe anything off or whatever uh, so yeah so the first one is the Ipsy uh, right, this is the classic Ipsy, and I believe it's $12 a month. If that's wrong, I will correct it in the comments. Um, uh, pull everything out of the bag. Okay, that's everything. Um, the first two items are actually outside of the bag. Um, also, another reason I did the two for March is because in March they were offering... A free extra item in every box you got um, or bag or whatever um, so usually you get five these are supposed to have six items in them um, so yeah um, so these are sheet masks and the first one is a natural avocado sheet mask you can see right there and sorry if my lighting is bad I'm like filming in my room with like a lamp and I figured it'd be easiest because that's where I had my setup at the moment, but I might change it for the next video. I don't know yet. Um, and then the next one is a natural shea butter sheet mask. You can see that. Um, so I do like masks and stuff. Um, those are always fun. Um, I might. In the, I have a few like different like sheet masks and stuff. I might try to start doing some like spa day reviews since we're in quarantine and stuff um but yeah this is the regular ipsy bag for the month of march i think it's really cute it has like little um i don't know what you call it like bedazzles or like little metal pieces on it and it is green with like a lime green top um so yeah i, I I do love this. Um, another thing I love about Ipsy is that they do give you makeup bags with, with each thing. Um, and they are doing it now where each tier has a different bag for that month too. At least different in some way. They all have the same general theme for that month but um, they do change a little bit the bag of what you would get depending on the price you're paying. Um, Celebrate you March uh, 2020. This is your invitation to celebrate for the celebration of our 100th glam bag and you. Let's high five and show how far we've come and where we started. To get the party started, we've added a bonus product as a thank you for being along for the ride. Open your glam bag picks valued at 50 plus. Fifty dollars plus, and cue the confetti. It's time to have some fun. Um, this actually does have the prices in it, so I will go over that at the end of the video. Um, so yeah, the first item we have is a liquid eyeliner. Um, just 
right here. It's from Ilomesqua. I don't know if that's how you pronounce that. Um, I'm not going to open this right now because I don't have the best luck with liquid eyeliners. Um, so I'm not sure if I'm actually going to keep this, but I might. I might keep it at least for now because I might run out of eyeliner in the apocalypse or quarantine or whatever this is. So that's the first item. Um, and then the second item here, and some bubbly wrap, is Shania B. Miami, and it is a blush powder, and oh, that's cute. It has little flamingos on it. It is a very light shade of blush. Um... I don't know if I'm going to use that or not because it is kind of light and I have a light toned skin so like I don't know but that is something that I got um usually when I do wear makeup I want something that's more like visible like so you can tell I'm wearing makeup because that's just me because otherwise I'm like well why do I wear makeup but I don't know some people are different um, and then the next one is Wonder Beauty. Um, what is this? It's eyeshadow in the shade Blossom. And I can't get this open, so let me find some scissors real quick. Or actually, I think I have an exacto knife on the table here that I can open it with. I do. That's why my setup's like this too, because because I was filming a crafting video that at this point has already gone up actually but I didn't feel like moving my um, filming setup around like my tripod and stuff okay now we got it so this is a, that is a very light shade thing. I might need to update my stuff with them because they always give me like light stuff. And I, you probably can't tell on this camera because the way that the light is right now, but it is very iridescent. Um, let me see if I can pull that up. Um... So, yeah, it is very, very iridescent. You could almost use that as, like, a highlighter, though. I would think. Um, then we have a couple more items in here. We have, um, Hey Honey, Relax, Propolis, and Honey Soothing Moisturizer. It's a little sample of it. Always need moisturizers and things. Um, and then the last one in here is uh, Tarte Quench, and it is a hydrating primer. Um, I don't always use primers, but it's a nice thing to have, especially um, when you do wear like foundation and stuff. It helps it stick better, and um, to have a hydrating one, like it helps your skin not get so dry um, when you do that. So yeah, I, I really like. The style of this bag, like I said, um, let's go over the pricing on this, which like I said, do keep in mind that this is one more item than they would normally give you in the Ipsy bag. Um, so, let's see, I'll price these out. The Quench um, Hydrating Primer, um, this little uh, sample size is $32 apparently is what they say it's uh, valued at that is interesting oh that is for the full size I don't know how big the full size is um, that's an, that's an interesting they put the full size price on it when they give you the sample size um, so yeah um, and then the 
moisturizer, the full size of this product would be $42, which like I said, again, these are the sample sizes. Um, and the, um, Shana, or Shania B Miami Blush and Bellini is, um, $29 for the, um, full size of this product. So I guess the full size would be like a normal, would be bigger than this. Um, and then the Wonder eyeshadow would be uh, $25 for the full size product. Um, and then these masks, um, it says it would be, it's $4 for the full size product. And I assume by full size product with these, it probably is the full size product and it's probably just for the individual mask because that sounds right-ish for mask like this. Um, so yeah, um, I really do love the Ipsy regular bag. Um, because it's only like $12 a month, like I said, and that includes shipping. And it's a great, like, they usually, sometimes you'll get full-size products, but usually it is sample size products. Um, but it is a great way to try different makeups. Also, the full size of this eyeliner would be $22. Sorry, I've looked over that. Um, so, yeah. Um, nothing in here I was too crazy about wanting to try on camera because it is a lot of neutrals and like skin products which I'm not going to try on camera really um but the skin products I'm pretty excited to try and because I mean what better time to try a, a new skin product than when you're stuck inside because if there's a bad reaction I can always go like have time for it to heal and stuff um so yeah on to the glam bag Plus box. Back for part two. Um, I did try to adjust the lighting somewhat in here, so maybe it'll be a little bit better for you guys. Um, I took the shade off of the lamp in here. Um, hopefully it's better. If not, I'm sorry. I'll try to do it better in different videos. Um, so yeah, um, this is the same kind of card for the box, um, as was in the f first bag, um, just the spoilers are going to be different because it's obviously different products. Um, the Glam Bag Plus is, I want to say like 25, it might be even up to 30, I think it's like 25 though, or 20 something, I will put the exact price below. Um, and it does usually give you five full size products, um, which is why it's more. And it gives you a bag, which like I said, it would be a different bag than what you would get with the Ipsy regular bag. Um, they also have like a really high tier, and I, I think that's like $50 maybe? I might be wrong. Um, but I have not tried that one. If you guys want to see that one, maybe in the future when it's not a quarantine and I get back to where I can work and the world's healthy again, I might try that. Uh, if you'd like to see that in the future, um, comment below and let me know and we will look into it, potentially. Um, but yeah, so the first item that came in this and I took it out is an angled brush. Um, it says it's a precision concealer brush. It has that look to it. Um, it has very soft bristles and it is very thick. It would be probably good for like contouring and stuff. Like your around your eyes probably really to anywhere you need like sharp lines for contouring, it would probably be really great. I'm assuming. Um so I do like that because I don't like I am getting some brushes and stuff, which I always lose my brushes. Oops. Um I'm I'm bad about that, you guys. So like any extra brushes I'm always happy to get. Um but anyway. <laughs> That aside, I am, like, pretty, ha um, content, happy with that item. Um, and the next one is Auto Bomb Girl Power Cheeks on the Go, and it's made by the Bomb Cosmetics. 
And this is going to be a blush palette, I believe. Um, if I can get it open. Okay, there we go. Oh, this is cute. And it has, it has like, um, four colors. Um, and it does like suggest some like different things you can do, but that is the blush palette. Um, it has like a kind of more pinkish color, a more, um, mauvey pink kind of, like, like a deeper pink shade, and a brown, and a like pink glitter shade in there. Um, I will probably, I don't always wear blush, but I will probably get some use out of that one because it's different shades I can try. And this says phase zero. I don't know what this is at all because I, it's what I hate about some of the times, like you don't, if you don't look at a cheat sheet, you don't at least know what the product is you're getting into. Okay, this is a, a matte liquid lipstick. And what's this look like? Okay, so this is an item I will try on for you guys. Um, like I said, it's a, it's a matte li uh, liquid lipstick and it's like kind of a darker mauve pink color, I think. Though it might look different when I put it on. Um, I'll try not to shine this mirror because it's hitting the light apparently. But let's try it. It smells really good. When you go to put it on, that's always a nice little thing. Like it smells almost kind of like vanilla, I think, maybe. And it goes on fairly smoothly. I can tell a difference between the normal shade of my lips and this too. So that is going to be what it looks like on. It is very, it's a brighter pink kind of looking color than I thought it would be, but I'm not complaining about that because I do kind of want to go like, Rah! like, I can dig it. Okay, so let's see what's next. Um... Next we have a, it's Hemp's Herbal Extract Sweet Pineapple and Honey Melon Herbal Body Moisturizer. So a lotion basically, I think. And that's what it looks like. Um, I'm going to smell it. I'm not going to put it on right now because I don't need lotion at the moment. Oh, that smells really good. It smells, it does smell like just a hint of pineapple. I will get some use out of that. I like that. Um, and then the next one, I actually needed a new, a new cleanser to try too, so this is good. It's a Glam Glow Hollywood California Tropical Cleanse Daily Exfoliating Cleaner. So it actually pro has some kind of exfoliation beads in it too, which that sounds like something I've actually been needing right now. That doesn't have much of a smell to it. It kind of looks like a mud mask when you open it up. But the little bit of a smell it does is kind of freaky. And it does smell pretty good. Um, I might go back and review these products that once I've actually like used them as far as the skincare products. I don't know yet. Um, and then I have Sayet London. Extraordinary Translucent Powder. So there's that. Having to break the box to open it. That's great.
Okay, this is definitely a full size item. And that is definitely translucent powder. Um, let's see if I can open this without it going like everywhere. But it is like white powder basically. Um, I'm not going to try this on um, because I don't need a translucent powder. I don't have foundation on right now. And the powder, whenever I do use it, I want to be like in the bathroom or something because that is going to make a mess. And I don't want that mess to be in my room. Um, and then, of course, we have the Ipsy Glam Bag Plus um, makeup bag here, which you open it up and it says unstoppable inside. And it has this lime green on the inside of it. Um, and then kind of like this beige and green on the outside. It kind of looks like an envelope. Um, it's all right. I kind of like the other bag style better for this month, but this one definitely has better products in it. Um, at least in my opinion, but this one does cost more too. Um, so let's go over the prices. The Hemp's Body Moisturizer in Sweet Pineapple is um, $10.59. Okay, that's not too, too bad. The um, dry, the um, translucent powder is $22, uh, normal priced. And it says tip, it's not just for your face and a pinch, it can also double as dry shampoo. I'm not, I've never used a dry shampoo, but I'm curious what that even, like, how you would use a powder as a dry shampoo. I'm not sure. That's, a, that's very interesting. And then um, the Glam Glow Tropical Sin, Tropical Cleanse Daily Expo Exfoliating Clean Cleanser is $34 normally. And then the Balm Cosmetics Auto Balm uh, Girl Powder is $26.50. Um, the Phase Zero um, Makeup Matte Liquid Lipstick and Undercover is $16. And then the uh, Precision Concealer Brush is $26. So you, this one for sure, you definitely do get your, um, price back in the box because like I said it's only like $25 so like if that card's right like you in like one item you get that back um and I assume it's probably the same for the regular ipsy just it's harder to figure that out because it is sample size and they give you the regular size prices um but yeah um let me guys let me know in the comments, you guys. Have you guys done either the regular Ipsy or the Ipsy Glam Bag Plus? Um, once I get to back to where I'm doing normal unboxing kind of situations, um, would you like to see more like Ipsy versus Ipsy or like different boxes go up against each other? Um, like I said, as even taking into the fact about one costing more than the other, what I will say this month is I liked this bag better, but the products that came in in this bag, the more expensive bag, I like better. <laughs> yeah. um, so I probably in the future will restart up with one of those plans. I don't really know yet. I might just do more Ipsy versus Ipsy's when I start back up. It's harder to know. These are crazy times. Um, so yeah, leave me a comment, tell me about your day, tell me what you thought of this video, um, and if you're new to my channel, hi! Um, you should totally hit the subscribe button, ring the bell, um, so you know when I have new content. Everybody's home right now, unless you're one of the workers that are considered, um, like, uh, what's the word? Basically where they need you to work. <laughs> Essential. Um, so if you're home and looking for something to do, why not watch some of my other videos? 
Um, so yeah, you guys, I'm gonna I'm gonna end this. Um, let me know what you thought. Please stay safe, you guys. These are crazy, crazy times. And I will see you in my next video. Bye, you guys.